Here is a 2024 BMW X3 M40i in Brooklyn Gray Metallic over Takara Red Interior. This has over 100 horsepower more than the standard X3. So when you're thinking, should I option this over that because the price does increase over $10,000. And then optioning up to the M will get up to 503 horsepower when you add the competition package. Going against comparable rivals like Mercedes, Audi, Porsche, even Volvo, this is gonna be the closest to a 50-50 weight distribution, which means when you're taking bins with that performance behind it, it's gonna be the fastest variant. I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides, and I'm going to explain the pros and cons and the big problem that I have with the X3 M40i. Starting off with full LED headlights, we have the M shadow line trim, which is the M shadow line lights. And this is also a package, which you have to include another two, three grand. And that's one of the cons that I have right off the bat. In order to get it to look like this and to have the features we have, you're gonna tack on a few grand. Gloss black elements will surround the kidney grille. The lower bit, this takes the dynamics a little bit further, and it should, because housed underneath this long hood is a 3.0 liter inline six cylinder twin scroll turbo charge, which when you get into the X3, that's a inline four cylinder. So you're already seeing the difference. Producing 382 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque paired to a sports eight-speed automatic transmission. This is gonna reach zero to 60 at 4.4 seconds. X drive, M adaptive suspension, and you're still achieving 21 MPGs for the city and 26 MPGs for the highway. So you're not necessarily sacrificing on the MPGs, but you are getting a top speed up to 130 miles per hour. Change the wheels to what we have, this staggered setup, which is a 245 40 21 inch, 275 35 21 inch out back. Red brake calipers that's housing four pistons in the front. You don't get that with the X3 in the back. We'll get a single floating caliper. Gloss black elements is going to surround all of the side, giving the M spec side view mirrors with LED turn signals that's integrated on them. The side skirt is also going to flare out a little bit more so. And a pro with the M40i is this is the fastest zero to 60. It's not going to be the best in horsepower or torque when you're comparing to Mercedes, going against Audi and Porsche, but then when you're considering the price of what you're getting in value and you're still beating them on those times, plus you got the near 50-50 weight distribution, this is at 51.6, 49.4. You're not gonna get that in any comparable rivals. And a payload still is over 900 pounds and towing up to 4,400 pounds. LED taillights, I like how it's more smoked out with the gloss black. And the lower gets the aggressive two exhaust tips that's gloss black. Front and rear parking sensors, surround view camera, which is another option that you have to tick on the box. Taking me back to the cons, because once you start adding these features up, you're going to get to near an X3M, and then you're going to be thinking, should I go competition? Because it does add an extra 30 horsepower, adding more torque also, and getting a zero to 60 in crazy numbers, you're under four seconds. But then when you're considering this is at 4.4 seconds. It's not a huge difference to spend 75 grand when you could get this fully loaded under $70,000. Power lift gate going into 28.7 cubic feet of storage. We get a storage nook on the side, 12 volt charger, bag holders underneath the floor. It's a little bit of storage that opens up into a lot more storage. And there's another little nook. Split fold, the rear bench, at a 40-60 split. And you can do it in the back if you're tall like me. And that's gonna increase cargo to 62.7 cubic feet. We need to go inside, start up this twin power turbo so you could hear that exhaust note. Twelve-way power seat adjustment for the driver and passenger, heated front seats, memory for the driver, and manual cushion extensions. Headroom and leg room. The X3 has a wide foot well, and the center cluster is not 
too over the top, so it gives a little bit more in the width. The dashboard starts off with the carbon fiber inserts. This is an upgrade going into the 12.3 infotainment screen with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming Bluetooth audio. Put it into reverse and we got that 360 degree reverse camera, full trajectory for the front and the rear with backup assist. Click the car icon and you have the 3D view, which you can use the iDrive mouse to go all around, or you can just simply touch the screen, click back into here, and you have the car wash view, which will show trajectory in the front. Dual climate control settings, and the key fob for the X3M 40i. With the badging that opens up to a wireless charging pad, USB 12 volt, and the BMW digital key. iDrive 7 gloss black elements is going to be surrounding it and it's going to be more sporty opening up into another USB and a couple storage tiers with a leather wrap steering wheel. It's heated M spec with the cross stitch multi-function adaptive cruise control, the paddle shifts and the digital gauge cluster that can go through an array of information for the driver when you click onto the BC button. And when you change the driving modes, it will change the tack and odometer. Putting into comfort will give you a little bit more of a coaching experience. Heads up display, auto dimming rear view mirror and a large pano moon roof. The door panels start with the Harman Kardon up top and it kind of bulges outwards with the carbon fiber inserts. It's gonna be soft to touch where it needs to be, one touch up and down for the windows. A large storage pocket with a huge beverage holder in the front and a storage nook for the driver. For the back seats, headroom and leg room, storage beyond both of the front seats, third climate control, two USB ports, a storage tier, air vents, cup holders with an armrest, and the door will get the carbon fiber inserts, the X badging, it's gonna be soft to touch where it needs to be, and a large storage pocket that's about the same size as the front. Sliding into the center, the floor is not completely flat. You're gonna be sharing feet space, but it's still a wide vehicle. Button shoulder space is gonna be shared, but it's not so bad. You can also recline these seats. Oops. You can also recline these seats when I find the lever. There it is. So it's a little bit more comfortable sitting into the center, making headroom a lot more optimal for someone over six foot tall. Sport Plus, 382 horse, you know the routine, look at this. M-Sport brakes, near 50-50 weight distribution. That's what you call a performance test, all blended in. Now we're gonna really see that 4.4 seconds out of 369 pound-feet of torque. Fun vehicles, they do exactly what they're supposed to in the sense of giving you that fun to drive, plus it can sip fuel if you need it to in the sense, because you're getting over 20 MPGs, but you're not concerned about that at this price. You're concerned about this. And it's fabulous. That's the big pro that I have when you're going into BMW. Even the X3 is gonna have some great dynamics and that fun to drive. Now this is going to take me to my pros and cons and starting off with the pros, it's not just dynamically correct, but the interior feels sporty. It's quiet in the interior. You don't feel that much of the imperfections and when you're considering a staggered wheel setup, so this is meant to be driven a little bit harder and it's 21 inches, that's pretty good. So that suspension layout ticks the box for the everyday the seat cushioning is going to be a little bit more sporty than a standard X3, but when you're looking at rivals in the same class, it's going to be right at the same. The Mercedes will have a little bit more plush materials, but then when I'm thinking I get that fun to drive spirit, you can hear the exhaust filter in, 
and still have towing capabilities and it's the fastest and the best in the weight distribution, it's hard to say this is not a sweet spot when you're considering an X3. And that's just in comfort mode. Handles very good. Steering has a little weight. You can alter the driving experience when you put it into sport mode. The big problem that I have is you have to feature it up. When you're considering going into the M40, some of the extra charges I kind of wish they just threw in because I understand you're getting more power and dynamics is better but you're not even getting leather. You have to pay extra for that. So if we're not gonna get leather seats, at least compensate me with the M Shadowline trim package, which gives me the M Shadowline lights. Give me some compensation for other features in the interior. Maybe put a standard ventilated seat and throw the carbon fiber inserts because this is also an upcharge. And that will take me to some cons about the vehicle. And the cargo, I don't like that you have to still go to the back doors in order to split the rear bench at that 4060 or 4020 40 split. It should be a lever in the back to make it easier for you. You also lose a little bit of cargo capacity underneath the floor because the battery is in the front instead of towards the back. And I understand they did it to get better dynamics but you also have to think for an everyday use vehicle. Manual cushion extensions, this should be power. You should also have memory seats for the passenger just because you're getting into the next level for the X3. But when I'm thinking about the comparable rivals, I'm seeing that you're getting a lock as face value. And BMW in every model has went up in price. So it makes it hard to say this is a sweet spot when you're sourcing your own vehicle. But it still is. It's not going to be the least expensive variant and you're not getting the iDrive 8 system. So whenever they change this, that could be another big problem because you're not going to be getting the over the air updates, but in the same respect, you're not gonna be paying for features like heated seats, which BMW has acknowledged that they're not going to be charging a subscription fee for that going forward. And they're going to be charging subscription fees regardless. And with the iDrive 7, you're not gonna have that many problems with it and you're gonna probably be using your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto most of the time. So as a package deal, it's great value, but then, like I was saying on the exterior, you may wanna just look at the M or the M competition in this trim, only because you're getting a little bit more power and you're unlocking a zero to 60 under four seconds. And turn radius at more or less a stop point, it's gonna get about two lanes say, give her a little go. Fun to drive, you got a lot of power underneath it and it's quicker than every rival. But let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Check out the next video, merchandise, website, and Instagram. Leave a comment and a like and I'd like to thank BMW of Wesley Chapel for giving us this 2024 BMW X3 M40i for our car review.